Just having a community like St. John, they've kind of just made me believe in myself. That sounds kind of corny, but they made me keep wanting to do stuff. I feel like they have my back and I feel like I have theirs. It feels nice to know that there's people around you that care about what you're doing. I learned the piano first. Um, I watched my sister play. She's 10 years older than me, and I was like, she's cool, and I got to do that. So I started doing that, and kind of the same thing with my brother and dad. They played guitar, uh, so I eventually kind of moved on to doing that by the time I was in middle school-ish. Before school, before I went away to Mount A, um, I did have a band called None, <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun to like play with, you know, people and kind of continued doing that a bit throughout university. And I took a composition class for a couple of years. That was really awesome because I do like um, composing a lot. Before I started putting lyrics to things, I, when I was on the piano, I would do a lot of child compositions. So, um, so I think it helped with that. Um, I think it helped humble me slash bring me back up kind of throughout the years. When I got home from school, I continued a little bit playing with people. Um, but once the pandemic hit, it was solo. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of transitioning now back into playing with people. And so it's been nice to make it a social thing again and not just like me alone in my room, practicing for a show that I go to alone <laughs> or whatever. So it's been good, positive. Found another way to say that you're leaving without saying a thing All for your convenience Pack another bag Then fill it again with just one more load of dread One more load to pawn off on them If I thought there was a way Stick around, I just might wait my whole lifetime. Shaking at the knees. Without getting too deep into specificities Just know how much it took from me I'll play another game The ones I just can't win Awkward and ashamed Obnoxious and afraid of failing If I thought there was a way have it all I just might wait my whole lifetime mm -hmm. if I thought choose you for all of my days and all of my lifetime i
and all of my lifetimes. Ross and Netherwood School has been been around in some form or another since 1850. Uh, the school started downtown in the village at the Rossi train station. It was called the Thompson School, and that was in 1877. And I think in the early days, the school was a co-ed school. We are very much committed to education. We're very much committed to our province, and uh, we're very fortunate to be in the Kennebecasis Valley. The Ken Kennebecasis Valley, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful spots in all of Canada. Uh, when you look at some of the views down towards the river. So there's people who come onto our campus all the time just to walk their dogs and to use our trails. Um, you know, there's a beautiful trail put in by the town just above the property called the Hillside Trail. And uh, I think people from the village view this as an area where they're welcome to come. Hopefully, people in the community are proud to have our school as, as part of their community. From being in high school to now, I think my mental state has gone through uh, a whole list of things between then and now. But what I write about stays pretty much the same, or like the way I write. Usually, if I'm, and I've, I've talked to friends about this too, usually if I'm writing, it's because, or it's about something that I'm not particularly happy about. So, like, I'm not really writing love songs. I think one time I kind of wrote a love-ish song, more of like a crush song, and then immediately at the end it just turns into like something else. When I'm writing them, it's usually at nighttime, and I'm usually alone. Like when I was younger, I didn't like my parents to be in the house. Right now I don't like my partner to be in the house. Um, it has to be a very alone time thing. Um, and I think the reason I get more excited about that than and maybe a release itself, is just because I've put together a thought or a feeling in a way that I wanted to, or a way that I like, in a way that I understand, um, and it gets something out. And sometimes I'm like, yeah, that was, a, that was so good. And then by the time I hear it for like the 50th time, I don't think it's so interesting anymore. So I think that's why I'm less excited about releases and more excited about the creative process. It just kind of depends on what I'm writing about. Um, but usually it's just I hear something or see something that like kind of makes things tick and I'll go with it. So I never write about stuff that I haven't actually felt before, I guess, but um, sometimes there's specifics in my songs that I've not actually dealt with personally. Maybe I'll see something on a show and somebody says a word I like or a line I like where they're going through something that I think I want to write about. Or I see something on the street in the same vein. Um, and I've been trying to compose a bit as well as opposed to just uh, songwriting. Because the song Psycho Bitch uh, is kind of about feeling like you're going nutty because you're getting different actions than you are words. Or, you know, in an in a umbrella sense, that's kind of one of the themes. So I wanted to pretend to be the actual psycho bitch herself. Uh, I kind of am anyway, but I wanted to like really embody it. So that was fun. And then obviously I had a lot of um, creative direction and, and all that fun stuff from Amy and Kate. And uh, yeah, it was really great to be able to visualize it and come up with like a, a plan and a script or, you know, kind of script um, for that kind of stuff. And then to improvise when, you know, we see a pink guitar and we're like, do you want to use that? We were at interaction and there was a pink guitar instead of my red guitar. And I was like, should that be involved? Maybe it was Amy who said that, but regardless, it was fun to do that kind of stuff. In terms of my music writing evolving, um, I don't know that I have a too much of a timeline with like, now I'm gonna do this kind of music and now I'm gonna da da da. Because sometimes I'll write something that maybe is a bit poppier, but the next day it's something that's folky, and the next day it's something that could be a little rockier. And then depending on how I configure them, I can make them either or. There were such thing as spells, I think I finally broke yours. The 
The only way I can tell is cause your smile's beginning to fade If there were such thing as truth then I'm still trying to find mine I'm always left so confused and stuck in a learning stage But I don't want to play anymore Or be your best warmer yeah, I'm so sick of keeping score I can't be your best warmer There were such thing as ghosts I think I finally ditched yours It only took four damn years What if I see you in my dreams Like I used to, like I used to And things might not be so clear Don't want to play anymore Or be your bench warmer Yeah, I'm so sick of keeping score Can't be your bench warmer Will you try and decide I guess I can, sometimes I can kind of hear what I want and I'm learning how to articulate what it is that I do want in a song. Um, and then the people that I work with whenever I recorded, whether or not it's the two songs that came out in the past couple of years or Gravel Tape stuff or like old demos or whatever, seem to be able to read what I'm trying to tell them. Or like, I'll try to be... I'll try to explain, like, I want a drum hit, like, uh, bitty beep bop beep. And they're like, yeah, we can do that. For some reason, that translates to them. Gravel Tapes was just awesome. Um, I've known Design Store for a while, a few years, and I think they are great as people, and I love their music, and I always thought what we did would fit really well together, and they thought that as well. So it was really awesome to come together and be able to... Uh, yeah, make music and hang out and kind of do it all in a very, like, I wish what we did then, those couple days were just like what I could do forever. Not always, maybe, maybe not always, but I would love to have more experiences like that because it was, it was really great to collaborate and to practice and jam it out and be happy with the product. And it's more fun with other people, I guess. Uh, sometimes there's a bit more anxiety because I don't have full control over what everyone's doing, um, but for the most part, it's just like more fun. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I enjoy my alone time and I enjoy doing what I do alone, but in terms of it being like a hang, you know, it's it's not that. It's just me kind of like in a zone that I enjoy. It's not like the fun and social aspect that I did miss about being with bands. I couldn't stand myself if I kept
kept you from the one and held on out of greed do you feel it too or is it just me the plates shifting under our feet I never notice the leaves change around here I know time's got a mind of its own a mission for decay that I just can't keep up with and God I've been feeling alone what do you know about leaving I just haven't figured it out what do you know about seeing the best way to still sleep with the lamp on in my room but you'd think by now I'd feel safe just having a community like St. John um, in terms of the people that are are there at the moment um, they've kind of just made me believe in myself that sounds kind of corny but uh, they made me keep wanting to do stuff and uh, I feel like they have my back and I feel like I have theirs. Um, I enjoy going to, to watch stuff and they seem to like coming to me sometimes. So it feels nice to know that there's people around you that care about what you're doing. Yeah, the rock camp, St. John um, Girls Plus Rock Camp was awesome. It's so cool to see um, kids who are way cooler than me or way cooler than I was, um, really own it and like own who they are and own what they want to get out there. Um, and it's also just super impressive to watch kids who, some of which have never touched an instrument before, just become like a very good guitarist or a good little drummer or whatever they are doing. Uh, it's super cool, super impressive. Um, and yeah, it's really... It's really fulfilling to see them work together and find their voices together. And it's also awesome to work with the gang of people that I was working with. Um, they're all really supportive and 
like, fantastic. Mm. I wish I could work with them all the time. I really do just write with myself, which sounds maybe egotistical, and maybe it is, and that's kind of fine with me. I mean, I remember one time to my mom, I was like, what if, what if I just run out of things to say? Like, what if I just don't have anything to say? And she was like, that's dumb. I don't know, you've been doing it since you were, like, a small child. I mean, unless you stop living at all, then you're probably still going to have something to say about something. So uh, whether or not it's on a stage or if I'm in a completely different field in 10 years and, you know, and just writing for myself quite literally in my own room and for no one else to hear, I think it's going to be happening either way. I just happen to let other people hear it right now. Sorry, there's an ant on me and I can't. I have to get it off. Sorry, everybody. <laughs>